So let me just get all the, um, okay, so I'm going to say this, you have very strong intuition, and I mentioned this once before, uh, when it comes to intuition, okay, there is something, some type of uh, long-standing relationship, you know, even though you might not be together anymore, there was somebody very significant in your life, there was somebody very, very significant in your life, and you have, a lot of you might have recently reached out to them, possibly an, an air sign, <clears throat> Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, and there was just no response, there was no, like, there was no, it was like a stalemate, and you you now wish you hadn't reached out to them is what I'm sensing. So the advice here is, you know, I, I feel like your intuition was telling you, oh, nothing is going to come out of it. And you still, you know, wanted to make sure they were okay and things like that. And now you have the answers that you need. And the, the lack of response basically means that, you know, either A, unfortunately, they didn't care enough to give you a response. I feel that the message did get to them. I do feel the message got to them. So there's no, you know, blaming it on communication problems or blaming it on the, the email server or anything like that. The message was sent. It was received. No response, okay? And that's all you need to know. So move forward from this situation, okay? I'm very sorry, Scorpios. So let's go through this spread and hopefully we can, you know, try to flush out some of these um, issues. First off, I feel that there was something major in your life and possibly um, a relationship partner, somebody who took you for granted, somebody that was, um, I would say like, I'm getting the message, a very, very um, lazy relationship partner. They might not be a bad person, but they didn't do their fair share of the work in order to move the situation along you were dealing with somebody who was taking things for granted, who who felt like they were entitled to be weighted on hand and foot, okay? So in the past position, you were shrugging off the responsibility and you weren't interested in doing that. And this past energy, I feel like it was within the past eight months, okay? For some reason, eight months. So within the past eight months, you dropped a big, big burden, off your shoulders and you're just like I'm done I can't do this anymore so that's what happened in the past what brings you to the present situation is I do feel a lot of you were socially dating possibly a lot of people and I feel that if you were dating as well there was one person that you were seeing or thinking that you were seeing exclusively and I feel for a lot of you, it was an air sign, okay? Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Because we do have here the Queen of Swords in the reverse position. So first of all, I feel that if you were dating, you were dating a lot of people. And there's nothing wrong with that. You're going out having fun. But because the dating card is in the reverse position, I feel like um, whoever you were dating or the person you were, you or the other person you were dating thought it was an exclusive relationship. They likewise did not think so. So there was a, a weird situation where there's a, in, inadvertently, there's a third party involved that one side or the other did not agree on. And as a result of it, some secrets were being revealed. Basically, things came to light and it created a very, very uncomfortable environment. And that is why there is a, you know, blocked in communication and blocked in messages and things like that, okay? What's crowning you here is the Three of Wands. And the Three of Wands is basically waiting for your ship to come in and not getting the result that you're looking for. Waiting for somebody to come through on their and deliver on their promises. And when it's in the reverse, it means that, you know, you, you're dealing with a little bit of disappointment here. And I feel that yeah, it's a lot of it has to do with um, work situations. Somebody says one thing and they mean another. And likewise, for a lot of you, going back to the person that was in your past, a lot of you were dealing with air signs. You sent out some type of communication. They're not replying, okay? And I'm going to say that, yes, they did get the memo. They did get the communication. They're just making themselves scarce because they don't want to respond. And 
you're not going to get any type of satisfying response from them. I don't feel they're going to respond. So that is going to play out for a majority of you who have been in a, some type of a threesome type of situation with a Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Um, it's over and it's done. So move forward. Okay, Scorpios, move forward. And it can play out as a male or female, but I feel that... Um, I feel that for a lot of you Scorpio men, especially dating a female Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, that's what happened here for a lot of you Scorpio men because there was another person involved, okay, and that it, it interfered with the relationship and the other person was not having it, okay. Um, at the same time, the energy flow, flows both ways and the Queen of, of, of Swords is in the reverse position, which also indicates that um, there might have been lies, deception, holding back affection on their end as well. So it, likewise, it can go both ways. In what, As for what's coming in, we do have the Six of Cups, and the Six of Cups is in the reverse position. Usually, I read the Six of Cups is a very strong, rooted, soulmate connection. It was a very deeply rooted relationship. You might have known each other five, six years, okay? And there was a lot of, um, it was like an emotional uh, highs and lows but you know the six of cups is usually people who come together and they have great love and friendship for one another and with the six of cups it's like no matter what you do the other person will forgive you and no matter what they do you always forgive them because you do see the best in them it is a card about childhood naivety as well but I feel like when it comes to children they they know how to love they know how to love without strings attached and they're simple creatures they just want to be happy and they don't really think about you know long term and they don't they're not calculating they don't come in and they don't approach love with an agenda or with strings attached so I feel like whoever it is that was in your life it was that kind of a relationship where Despite all of their flaws, despite all of your flaws, you're able to approach each other in a very even-handed manner, I would say. But I feel like, you know, that can only go so far. There was something that happened that created, you know, the, the last straw that broke the camel's back. And right now the communication is just completely blocked for good, okay? And Scorpios, um, it is time to move on. I feel like for a lot of you, you know, with that Saturn transit, finally out of your sign, it let you know what's meant to be in your life and what's not. And unfortunately, a person, a significant person, is being weaned out of your life for good, okay? For a lot of you, I feel like you might be dealing with a water sign too, possibly a Pisces. Because I have the Six of Cups and also the Moon. A lot of you might be dealing with a Pisces, okay? So, Aqua like Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, or a Pisces. An air sign or a Pisces. So, in terms of the advice here, we do have the Four of Swords. And the Four of Swords, when it's in the reverse position, serving as the advice, it means it's um, it's about time for you to actually accept this fact and accept that the end is... Is, is basically imminent okay the end is here and I feel like for a lot of you um, you were waiting 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 I feel like the message might have been sent to the other person or something like that very recently and you were waiting waiting for some type of a response so that you can so you can move on you feel like whatever they say it wouldn't be important is just the fact that they respond shows that they still care about you but i feel like because they're not respond that's something that you didn't expect you were expecting either you know anger or reconciliation you were looking for the 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 emotions in the message but the message wasn't there so the the satisfaction that comes from you know being able to decipher how the other person feels how they feel about you, whether or not they're angry, whether or not they're they're still in love with you, you didn't have the satisfaction of of getting a response, and that's why like it was really difficult to move on from this, and you didn't have the closure that you need to move on. And the advice here is this situation is pretty much out of your control. So in this deck, the Four of Swords, it means spiritual ascension. It means using your greater power I feel like this is um, 
more of your intuition, more of your higher truths to ex to look at this situation for what it is and accept it for what it is because it is beyond repair. It is beyond your control at this present moment. So detaching yourself a little bit from this situation and looking at it holistically from a bird's eye view is going to be much better for you because a lot of the times we are too emotionally invested in an outcome and we can't trust our intuition. Okay, so detach and move forward. That's pretty much the only advice I can get from this card. It's um, don't wait around for it anymore. Don't wait around for it. In terms of external to your environment, we do have the moon card. And the moon in the reverse means truths coming to light. Things that have been veiled in the darkness of the night are being illuminated for you to see. You're going to have to understand and accept what you see. And just know that events coming in, truths coming to light and things like that are going to be necessary for you to make sweeping changes in your life. I also feel for a lot of you, I also feel that um, we do have a new, uh, a full moon, excuse me, in Virgo on the 22nd of February. So some major breakthrough is going to happen, okay, that will allow you to move on and that will allow you to get some peace and closure and clarity regarding this situation. Um, circulate on the night of the full moon. I feel that if you sit and journal or if you even meditate, you're going to get some really profound insight. Both of these cards indicate to me spiritual ascension. Both are very highly spiritual cards. So I feel like some major breakthrough, some catalyst for major, major transformative changes in your life is going to come through in the sign uh, on the 22nd in that f uh, full moon in um, Virgo. So it's basically a time to release. I feel like all the pent up tension, frustration is going to come through for you. And you are going to be able to release this situation, put a lid on it. Uh, you know, nail the coffin, ship it off, and just move on with your life, okay? In terms of your hopes and fears, I feel, unfortunately, a lot of you are still hoping for some type of communication, are still hoping for some re-entrance of a, another person in your life, possibly another air sign, okay? So you're still hoping for some type of communication just to know that they still think about you or they're, they're still feeling a certain way about you. And in terms of the outcome, I'm very sorry. We have the five of coins here. Well, let's first talk about the, the minor issue, which is more the nine of cups in the reverse. Whatever it is that you're hoping for from potentially a Pisces or an air sign, okay? Whatever communication breakthrough or some type of communication, piece of communication you're hoping for is unfortunately not going to come through. However, by it not coming through, you are going to get the closure that you need, or at least on the 22nd of February, during that full moon, you are going to be able to release this situation. And in the process of doing that, you are going to recover from the doubt, the self-doubts especially. Self-doubt is a dangerous, dangerous thing. It creeps up when we least expect it, and we can't really shake it, okay? This is a card about self-doubt here. This is... um emotional or even financial poverty and in the reverse it means overcoming this situation yes it is very difficult but you are emerging from it you're emerging from the cave and you're getting a lot more guidance and you're reaching out to the opportunities around you at the same time we have the five of cups which indicates you know sorrow regrets it's looking back at your past possibly your past relationship with another person where things were very, very, it was like a very heavy emotional roller coaster and it was a very emotional experience and you're emerging from it and you're realizing that you have other opportunities to date, to fall in love again and you're going to have to let that relationship go because it was draining you energetically and emotionally, okay? It wasn't good for you. So I feel like Scorpios, it is a month about finality. It is a month about accepting things, okay? For those of you who are single and dating, I feel like that you might be getting communication from an ex and you're done and over it and you're, you're just like moving on with your life. I feel that somebody new is going to be right around the corner for you. And 
I do feel it might be coming through around the 22nd of this month. Some communication that you're hoping for from new people is coming in from the 22nd. If you're, you communicate it with somebody, I feel like especially for Scorpio males, if you communicate it with somebody or sent out some type of communication, you're not going to get from like a, an ex, you're not going to get anything from them, okay? So close the lid on that coffin and just move on, all right? Especially you Scorpio males. Um, I do feel, I, I'm very sorry for the grim reading. And uh, I'm actually going to pull out a few more cards and just say that when it comes to news regarding finances, I feel that it's going to be in the March time frame or especially in a, a period of two more months. So we are in, so that's going to be April. April 15th and things like that is greatly indicated for communication when it comes to work finances. Of course, it's also tax season, but work situations and, you know, getting some type of feedback regarding your performance appraisal reports or something like that. It's definitely going to be there either on the full moon or in a period of two months, which is going to be April 15th around that time frame. Okay. So finances looks very good. Love, there might be some type of uh, communication snafus, mix up and things like that. Um, I'm going to say as well, for those of you who are in stable relationships, be very patient with your partner. I feel as if for a lot of you, um, there is a little bit of disappointment. You know, Valentine's Day is such a hyped up holiday. And a lot of people put so much uh, emphasis on it that they end up a little bit disappointed when it comes to gifts. It's a really, it's an important holiday, but at the same time, when your relationship partner shows up with something that you don't want, I feel like for, um, I mean you, as in everybody, not just you Scorpios, but I feel like it's a lot of pressure. It's a lot of pressure to be perfect, especially for new relationship partners, because you they might not know you very well. You might not know them very well. So the exchange of gift might be a little bit disappointing. And it's sort of like you go through the, the, the whole January expecting this massive blowout for Valentine's Day. And I feel like a little bit of disappointment coming through for a lot of you. So I'm very, very sorry about that, okay? I do wish you the best and I do wish, you know, that you get over this situation and, you know, nail that coffin shut and just move on. All right. Because there's no going back from this um, for especially for those of you who are contacting exes or have had communication from exes. Just move on. Restore your self-esteem. Restore your faith in yourself and other people and move on with new people. All right.